Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to uh, introduce another function uh, associated with the indicator trend scanner. Uh, this function is, is down trend. So in the previous tutorial, we already discussed its uptrend. So I guess you guys already had some idea uh, what this indicator is doing and that's what is the function is doing. So um, let's continue with the uh, our learning how to use the second one, which is the, is the downtrend. Um, let's open our application. As you can see, I have opened the A2 Milk uh, stock chart and also the OBV. I already turned on the trend spectrum, so pretty much I have um, keep using the, um, the configuration settings where we we set up from the last uh, tutorial. And uh, as you can see, the OBV is the um, if you OBV is downtrend means in the OBV uh, on balance volume chart, as you can see, uh, the when it's trend spectrum in red color means the OBV is in the downtrend. So this function actually returns if it it found uh, if it found the uh, equity their OBV indicator chart is right now in a downtrend they will return true um, there are a couple of things I want to uh, mention here is the first of all this function is a bearish signal because the OBV indicator uh, well looks familiar looks very similar with the chart uh, price chart itself as you can see when the price up um, OBV line goes up goes up right and uh, when, the, when the price going down OBV going down so if the OBV, which is measures the vol, uh, tra the transaction volume, uh, if this indicator is in a downtrend, it's never be a, never been a good sign. So it depends on this situation. Uh, it depends on you know w in what kind of situation you you see this um, OBV in a downtrend. So for example, if you if you see. Uh, if the trend, if the underlying security is right now in a very solid downtrend, uh, of course the most of the time the OBV will be in the downtrend. So in this in this situation, there wouldn't be any surprise to you, because you are expecting uh, price going down, OBV going down as well. Um, but but when the down, even though we're very solid downtrend like this one, uh, you will find sometimes the um, the the price will be consolidated in the in the middle it would not go in down every day uh, if in if it is in a bearish consolidation so and price uh, price will you know bouncing back a little bit like this one and uh, OBV is still in the downtrend so probably you can add a sh your short position right here when the OBV is actually still in the downtrend, but the price action is in the uh, sideways, but the background is still a solid downtrend, so you can add your uh, short positions here. So this is one uh, situation when the OBV in downtrend is in the solid downtrend, uh, in the in the in the consolidation of a bearish uh, bearish consolidation of a, a solid downtrend. Sorry. Um, so another thing is when when you see the uh, OBV uh, moving in the downtrend, while the you know the underlying security is still in the uh, uptrend, in the that might indicate that's still not a good sign because that might indicate some of the uh, distribution already happening, right? So as you can see, this one, the two milk um, share is moving quite nicely especially in this uh, period of time um, the price moving up sharply OBV also confirms this price action also moving up but from this point in time even though the price going up in such a uh, in a such a uh, rising rigid p uh, pattern right so as you can see once once the uh, shares goes into distribution uh, stage the 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 trading the uh, price range will be increasing uh, which is the well the shares the shares 
becomes more volatile all right so very wild up and down days a lot of this kind of uh movement and meanwhile as you can see here the obv stopped to create the new high and the flattering out during the past two years fund here and while the trend is in a very up very solid uptrend you never see the obv going to the downtrend but in here if you see this kind of things happening you will be uh, very careful um, because the very early pre-warning signs already presents itself uh, which means the underlying security might be in the distribution stage so you have to change your strategy uh, so the distribution will happening in diff will will distribution stage will create different pattern like this one is still very uh, bullish because it's a right rising uh, widget so as you can see OBV stop creating a new high uh, even though the price going higher in such a wide range and eventually it breaks out from that um, um, trading the pattern and then you will see the OBV will stays in the uh, downtrend mode then down uh, in the downtrend sta status so which means the distribution is finished the big buyers already sold out and uh, the share prices no longer have any support it will just go in down uh, as you can see the OBV follow through these breaks it's it has a very uh, solid downtrend along with the price actions okay so this is the another situation where you see the OBV downtrend in the uptrend especially in the top uh, in the top area and um, um okay as you can see we have another example here so in this example the obv moving to the downtrend um in a very special moment which is it happens when it breaks down from a strong resistance so basically in this chart as you can see this is a very long um, period of time is multiple years uh, top pattern so it's a multiple sh head and shoulders here uh, if you if you I just draw anywhere like this I can draw kind of train lines just by on in just by you know observe this uh, this this chart so as you can see here is a uh, head and shoulders patterns right here uh, it's uh, hanging around uh, here in along it the shares breaks down and then just bouncing bouncing back through this uh, cup of this this um, resistance level for quite some time you know it never really breaks up even though you can see even though the online OBV in the in the uptrend but it's kind of still flattering when you see this um, uh, this type of the uptrend is not a very good quality you really want to see the OBV moving up and also with some angle so that means the more momentum and more pump buying pressure and buying powers when, along with the price uh, if you see it OBV line is like moving almost flat but also in a very weak uptrend it doesn't really mean anything it doesn't very significant so you have to be careful like this kind of move um, so this happening when when this big red bar appears right so the price falling out of this uh, consolidation pattern so, I, I, so I, this consolidation pattern this looks like a, it's a it's a it's a triangle uh, pattern so it breaks front here meanwhile the entire period of time the price is struggling to break out uh, to break up above this resistance so this is quite strong resistance because you were facing uh, people were selling pressure from this this uh, left shoulder right shoulder you also have a header here so there's lots of uh, people stuck in in, in those, those areas so you were facing an enormous resistance so if you see the OBV have some angle moving down and also falling into a downtrend you gotta be careful uh, so around yeah especially when this kind of si uh, situation happening in the uh, major breakout and also around the resistance level so which means it's even more bearish so 
as you can see if price moving up moving uh, if the times goes by and then this shares chop sharply so this is another example when a very bearish uh, when um, when a very bearish uh, function which is a downtrend of the OBV happening in such kind of uh, such kind of uh, uh, situation so you have to be very careful okay um, here you go so we have a, a f another example I want to uh, talk about in this tutorial is if you as you can see this chart SOL um, when you when you see this when this when you see the OBV moving in a down in a downtrend um, while the price is still moving higher it's close and also it's closing to its topping uh, top area because at that at the moment as you can see here this red bar and it's two weeks the OBV actually moving in the downtrend even the price is moving higher but the OBV is not in a very good good quality of uptrend so it doesn't really create a very significant high uh, higher high here even though the price moving in uh, keep moving up but in and you can see uh, up to this point the price has more becomes more volatile this one tells us probably in the distribution status because uh, you see this happening and uh, even though the price breaks out right so you still be need be careful because once you see uh, normally when the when a good quality of uh, price break up before it breaks up the OBV should be supports this breakup as as you can see here uh, the price actually break up from 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 this moment but before that the OBV in a quite good quality of uh, uptrend so which means the buying power is very strong and then which supports this breakup and this one could be valid so instead if you compare in these situations right here so even though this price breaks up from this uh, rising widget but before it breaks up the OBV moves into a downtrend uh, that might not be a good sign because the OBV movement doesn't really support this breakup even though it breaks up quite some range but it turned it's turned around immediately as you can see becomes a a bull trap here so you're gonna be careful if it even breaks down again so what I mean is, yeah, so you, when the OBV in a downtrend, so um, you need to find out in what kind of situation you see this happening. And because this OBV in the downtrend is, is already a very uh, weak sign, and you have to apply your own analysis um, and combine with the other indicator or your your technical analysis process to decide what you're gonna do next right for example for example here you probably wouldn't when you see this breakup you put in, you you probably don't want to chase uh, this breakup because it gave you a pre warning right here yeah that's uh that's a bull trap cool let's move into the other part which is how can we create a filter um, to use our indicator trend scanner and apply this function so when you want you, when when, uh, when you want to create a trend filter um, you go into the analysis manual and bring up the second item trend filter management once that happens you will see this trend filter management uh, displayed in in this area and then let's create a function just for a demonstration purpose uh, you right click and add a filter so the fil this uh, the filter configuration page will display it here all you want to do is to give it a name uh, demo OBV is dumb trend give it a description if you want to give it a more detailed and it supports a lot of text you can put in here sentiment uh, it's optional selection it decides the color of here 
just for you know more convenient way to tell these uh, filter sentiments so for example this is the very bearish sentiment uh, bearish sign so we say sentiment is bearish once you double click on that as you can see that weekly is oh, oops uh, OBV is downtrend becomes a red color now let's uh, I should be this one okay now let's uh, let's select another configuration items um, when you want to use the is downtrend for the OBV so you have to pick up the indicator trend scanner because that's the topic of this uh, tutorial indicator trend scanner because this uh, this function is belongs to this type of uh, scanner so you select the indicator trend scanner indicator the indicator type at the moment is only OBV is available you pick up the OBV on balance volume uh, chart type it depends on what you can, uh, what you're trying to, what you got, you, what 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 type, what uh, the chart type you want to scan. For example, you focus on the weekly chart, you pick up the weekly. If you focus on the daily chart, you pick up daily. And the function, um, not too much to say. You have to pick up the right function, which is is downtrend. Pick up that one. Return value. Uh, you have to specify true so that's pretty much for the setup when you come when, when you're in the real time um if you don't quite you have you have some doubt about this function what it's trying to do even for other types of stuff we already prepared a detailed documentation page in our main page so uh, as you can see if you go into the main page product products technical analysis too and you bring up to the trend filter function documentation if you open this page, this is this page explains that uh, this page has all the uh, function explanations and documentation here. For example, if you because right now we are looking at the uh, indicator trend trend scanner, and the function is is downtrend. So you click here, that will be in top here. So it's some of the explanations. What is that doing? What this function is trying to do? So you have a read here and to clarify the your the things and answer some of your questions by just reading the text here documentations it's very important all right once you set up here so this filter the demo obv is downtrend is ready to use okay once you have that one ready you are ready to create the market scan um, to include the filters we just created and use it for the for the market scan all right so when you want to bring up the market scan you go into analysis um, bring up the market scan management and this this market scans uh, tab will display so you right click and add a new scan market scan so this page appears so you need to do some configurations here to set up your market scan and include some of the filters you want to be you want to use okay so let's create a new market scan for demo for example demo OBV is downtrend give it a name sentiment bearish now the first thing you want to do is to select this market you want to scan from so here is the one we're going to scan which is ASX top 200 stocks um, once you select that let's let's do a regular scam for up to some because today is 8th of December um, the 9th of December you can you can choose uh, let's say we scan the next Friday because we're gonna do a weekly scam so we're saying um, this date we scan up to this date once we once we specify the time range for the market scan and then the last thing we're trying to do is to include the filters we want to use for example the demo OBV downtrend is the one we just created we double click on that and it will be going to the right hand side selected filters right so this one we're going to use now I want to create another one because for example this scan I want to find out all the uh, weekly uh, the OBV is downtrend but the stock itself is in a 
bearish consolidation. Looks like I don't have this uh, weekly bearish consolidation filter at the moment. I can create one. Oh, let's come back to the trend filter and create another filter called weekly uh, weekly bearish consolidation. So weekly is weekly bearish consolidation because this function is belongs to uh, price trend scanner so because we're talking about the trend uh, for the price stock price itself so the price trend scanner scanner I'll be used I'll be using here so the indicator type closing price and we are going to scan a weekly chart the function I'm gonna going to use in this filter is is bearish consolidation uh, is true so once I set up that I will be able to use it let's come back to the market scan management because I just add a new one let's click this fresh changes button as you can see bearish consolidation uh, weekly it appears let's just double click on that and then we selected this one so okay so this two filter combination will be used in this market scan let's find out all this kind of stock um, up to the 3rd of December once we finish all these settings, let's go into the analysis. The last one is the mark scan control panel. Let's bring up this control panel. Um, as you can see, the um, the demo OBV downtrend is appears in this in here. So we, we click that star button. It pops out a summary page, just lets us to review before we kick off the market scan and to see if everything is correct or not. Uh, let's uh, Let's have a quick read, quick read of this. It's a downtrend. Uh, sorry, this it's it will scan from that day to the third of December, uh, which is a normal scan. That's correct. The condition is uh, demo. So weekly indicator is downtrend. Looks like the demo OBV is downtrend. So we stay, which is wrong because I want to see the uh, weekly. So let's go back correct that before we click that OK so let's go back to the demo OBV downtrend uh, that one so let's change it to week okay let's refresh that one and come back to here and click on the star button again uh, as you can see we correct the the first function we're using the weekly same with the weekly bearish consolidation is true also is weekly that's all good and uh, we click the OK button and start to scan. So actually, if you have multiple of them, you can actually click the another one. Of, uh, the mark scan can do the scanning in the simultaneously, so not necessarily um, one after another. So you can do multiple scans at the same time. Not many fulfilled requirements, so it doesn't look maybe. Okay, we do have find one candidate according to the market scan. All right, so the CMW. You, if you double click on that, you open this chart. So the third of December. So here, uh, bearish consolidation. Let's bring up this uh, two. Let's bring up. It's going to the 3rd of December. Looks like this guy. Um, yeah. So it's very, it's just a very short week for he, for this bar right here. It's OBV is in downtrend, but the entire, uh, but the entire shares is actually in the, in the, in the bearish consolidation stage. So yeah, probably you want to, if you want to short this share you probably want to wait a little bit because um, at the moment it's, it creates it's moving up it as you can see it creates a, a uptrend at the moment so you're probably going to wait a little bit longer to see if this if it's the OBV is still very flattering for the past for the next weeks or two and it's touching the up edge of this triangle you can add up short conditions right uh, out of short positions right here and 
uh, yes, so that's the only candidate we found for that day. All right, um, let's let's change the date by a little bit further. Uh, let's do another scan. We're using the same market scan and just bring up a couple of weeks more. Um, bring a few weeks earlier. Let's say we scan. We're going to scan in December. Sorry, 2021. Let's just go to the November 5th. Let's see what happened in this time. Do another scan. So as you can see, we scan up to the 5th of November. We're using the same filters we just created and see what we got. So it scans but first condition might you have 40, 50, but second one you do not have too many because you have to fulfill two filters. The first one is the bearish consolidation is true weekly for the for the price itself and also we want to see OBV is in a is in the downtrend. Uh scan is finished. Let's go back to the market scan management and right click on that. Refresh. Okay, so the 5th of November, we have two candidates here. <coughs> Same with DCMW, which appears the first scan. But there is one more coming up for the BEN. Let's open a chart and have a look. So as you can see, this one. Um, yes, actually, this one is it happened in the the 5th of November which is this bar okay that is that is correct because this OBV is in a solid downtrend for quite a bit of weeks here um, so you we, we kind of find out a already find out the candidates which is uh, in a down move well this happening this this OBV in a downtrend happening in the uh, significant resistance level right because this chart if you see the monthly um, as you can see here it's a very very significant resistance level so why i'm drawing a line like this is because um, in here you had this this many months right so the price keep touching that level at that time it was a support but it breaks in the middle when it stands back again it doesn't it doesn't conquer the previous high so when it break when you breaks when you breaks um the significant support and it stands back you you expect the price or make a new high but it fails so this one already gave us a warning some you probably not to um, want to go long for this kind of situation and then as you can see for a long time multiple years this support line gives uh, solid support for this share but uh, sometime last year it breaks down and then it stands up again and this one again it creates another lower high is lower than previous one lower than previous one and then eventually it breaks down so it's not uh, more 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 information more bearish sign is it's even breaks below the 30 weeks moving average this blue line here so this 30 30 month moving average let's go back to weekly chart as you can see once it breaks down the 30 weeks moving average and uh, this this 30 weeks moving average line is sloping down price stays below it that's uh, not a good sign you're never going to go long in this kind of situation okay um i think that's pretty much all the contents for this tutorial because the main purpose for now is not to do in the uh the uh technical analysis but well focus is to how to how do we create this kind of filter and also how do we use this filter 
uh, in the market scan and how we how we can do the scan by using this uh, market scan control panel once that we how how can we you know open the chart and review it uh, for those scan results and um, yep cool I think that's pretty much all for this tutorial if you guys have more uh, questions regards to these functions always go back to the documentation in the main page and have a read of those if you still have problem uh, you can leave your comments here and the questions here probably our our mem team member will answer your questions um, hopefully this tutorial will help for your uh, daily work and analysis technical analysis so thanks for your time thanks for your watching i see you guys in the next tutorial bye for now